Okay, now let's complete the square. And we have y equals negative x squared minus 8x minus 1. So we're going to have to start by factoring out the negative 2. Whatever number is, in, uh, is with the x squared, we just need to factor out. But the negative 1 we won't take part in this factoring out process. It just stays outside. The negative 8x, of course, does, though. Negative 8x divided by negative 2 is just 4x. Positive 4x, right? Because negative divided by negative is positive. And now we're looking for two numbers that, uh, or sorry, not two numbers, well, just really one, but we add it and take it away. And we're going to take a look at the 4. We will divide it by 2 and square it. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we will add a 4 and take it away. Okay, now we have negative 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 4. And we'll take away this negative 4 over here. So bring the negative 1 down. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. We always need to multiply the number, this number over here, by the number that is outside to figure out what it will look like when it comes outside the parentheses or the set of brackets that we have here. So negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And x squared plus 4x plus 4 will factor into x plus 2 squared. And negative 1 plus 8 is just 7. That's it. We have y equals negative 2, x plus 2 squared plus 7. If we wanted to graph this, we could start with the vertex. And what would be the vertex of this parabola? Well, it would be negative 2, comma 7. We always need to flip the signal that is with the x to find the x value of the vertex. But we don't have to do that for the y value of the vertex. So the vertex would be negative 2, comma 7.